Hello. In this video, I will show you my workflow of drawing building elevation in AutoCAD from point clouds. So if you follow this workflow, you can adapt to any of your projects and you can uh, draw elevation, side elevation, front, rear elevation or whatever you will need from point cloud. So let's start. First, always, when you will receive a point cloud project, you will receive it like this. Okay, There will be this uh, RCP file and also you will have some support folder. What you have to do, you go to AutoCAD, open a new drawing and now let's set some, uh, let's set the workspace. First, come here and uh, tick all the boxes so you would have all the tools in here. You will see why because some of you will have missing a lot of tools and you need to activate or deactivate some of them. So I have activated all of them in here and after I will deactivate this, this, this and this. What I have now, I have only Snap and Gizmo. Now let's import our point cloud. Go to Insert tab, Attach, now I will go to my desktop, I will search for sample project, I will go to point cloud and as I told you, you have these two files, you will open only this one, open it. In this dialog, uh, normally by default you will have this tick, untick this, okay? And that's it, nothing else you have to do in here, click OK. You will have to wait a bit, uh, depending on your computer, laptop, whatever, this will move faster or slower. But don't worry, you can always cut part of this project so it will move just okay for you to draw whatever you need from the project. Now, we have this project in here, as you can see, this is a 3D point cloud. But we don't need all this data. We need only, for example, this building to draw it. So what you will do first, go to layer. I have uh, my layers in here. I will create a new layer and I will name it point cloud. I will move this. I will move this point cloud to point cloud layer. After that, I will work on zero for now. What you want to do, go to top, uh, identify your area of work. For example, only here I will work. I don't need other, other part of all this uh, point cloud. So I will create a rectangular in here and I will select only this area in here, like that. So now this will move much better. As you can see, I have only this area now. Now, let's go to top again with this area. What I want to do now is to create a section. I want a section plane from front. Like that. Now, I want this section to be slice. And now I can adjust the view of my, let's say, of my section. As you can see, it's easy. But in order to, to have a more control over uh, what you are viewing, I will go to View, Viewport Configuration, and I will create three uh, viewports. So in here, in this one, one moment, I will make it like this. In this one, I want to see the front. Okay, whatever I'm drawing, I will draw in here. In here, I want to control my sections. So in this one, I will control whatever I see. As you can see in here. Now, I see the windows and the facade, let's say. Okay, so I will move this until 
somewhere here because I don't need to see the fence I don't need to see anything right now I want to see only the windows I want to see the facade because I am drawing the front elevation and in here I will create this as a 3d view so in order to see what I am cutting and what I am viewing now let's let's move this out of the way so in order to move this you select this is the section okay and we will move it up so we would have a clean workspace in here okay now if you will try to draw anything you can see i'm i cannot go up or down why because i'm not in the correct plane what you have to do you have to right click on this usc and create and uh, check view because this is the view on which we are drawing now everything is set and we can start drawing the elevation but in order to draw it it is uh, it is good to go to layers block the point cloud point cloud in order not to move it so you see now it's it's blocked i cannot move it deselect the gizmo because you will not need that and let's create let's create uh, a new layer for windows windows after you created some layers okay for windows doors roof and so on i'll create those yellow so on. you can start drawings let's start with the windows at the windows I am not using any shortcuts right now, so I cannot draw very fast. Okay. But you get the point. Okay, you just start drawing the 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 plans. If you want to unhide for a, a bit the point cloud, you just select this and something like that and you will see whatever you have the rest if you want to unhide it again you just come here okay uh, sometimes it will help you because usually you you receive some photos from the building from the elevations of which you are drawing but if you don't have any photos or any other information just the point cloud you can do the following in order to see some more info from your point cloud let's unblock the point cloud and by selecting the point cloud you can come here and select some other view you can see this is normals so here you can see let's say the bumps of the building and so on and here you can rotate this if you want if you want some more information from what you are drawing if you receive the, the, the point cloud in high quality uh, co sco color scan, then you are in luck. You will see much more info, not like this one. This one is a bad quality scan. Okay. Also, if you have, uh, if you have uh, Autodesk Recap, you can uh, use it to visualize better than in AutoCAD what you are drawing. For example, let's go to... So this is Recap. I loaded my project in Recap. What you have to do here, for example, these are the scanning points. If I select this one, I just can walk through the project. Just as simple as that. You see? So this would be my elevation, and I have much more, let's say, info from this. I can go inside. As you can see, there is a lot of info from Rika okay let's get back to autocad so just as simple as that for example if you will need to draw the fence what you will do you will come in this top view i will drag my section front so deselect the auto okay and drag it front 
and I will drag also these because I want to see only the fence, not the cars, nothing else, only the fence. So I will just do it like that. So I have the fence now. And here in 3D, I can see the fence. And simple as that, you can start drawing the fence. After three or four hours of work, maybe less, depending on uh, your skills, you will have this. So let's hide the point cloud and you can see the results. Okay. It's very simple. You will see. It's time consuming, but very simple. If you will have a recap, it will help you. If you will have photos from the building, it will help you even more. Okay, hope this was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Thanks. Bye.